We are just about there. It is Saturday night, probably about 7.30 in the evening. And it's a beautiful full moon. Absolutely beautiful. The stars are all out, even with all the light from the buildings. Still, can't quite see as good. It's just a beautiful night out here. Absolutely beautiful. And so, on a beautiful night, we pay our farewell. To the starboard engine of November 139er Quebec. She is officially a goner. Can't come back from here. The camshafts are shot. The connecting rods are shot, which I can deal with that. Crankshaft is shot. The block is not rebuildable legally. And we're down to our last, our last hoorah. This engine will never fly again. better with my headlamp on. All right. Yeah. Every, well, this one's not bad. No, every piston is a wiggle wobble. So let's remove the, the last cylinder head and in memoriam. <laughs> and we'll take the final look down at the bottom. So let's get rigged up here. So, from 64, 74, 84, 94, 2004, 2014, 6, so, 56 years, this engine's given, <clears throat> but she's done, I think, I mean, I don't, unless we just put a new, take it apart and put new gears in it and put it back together. Who knows? Might put a used crank in there and have them get connecting rods. If I can keep it under three grand, I don't know, I'm not counting cylinder work. If I can keep all the rest of this within three grand, I'd rerun that case. Case is fine. Alright, but she's she's gotta be laid open. 
<laughs> Helps when you're not fighting the vacuum. Rings are sealing. Not bad. I think good, um, if it's honable, it'll be fine. All right. everything else I mean it wow big big time so the connecting rod not moving that's how much wrist pin and then this is connecting rod Cam looks wasted. Lifters look wasted. Center of the crankshaft debris. Copper shaving. surprise all all six sets of rings have been free they haven't been they're not locked up in the in the ring bed this piston's not too bad that's just a little gull and this this isn't too bad wrist pin shot all the wrist pins are shot you kept using the old wrist pins and they're they're not cheap i, I know who it's, it's, it'll work again. Keep using them, but. They've served their life. Let's put that. This stuff has served well. Very impressed. <laughs> no one got killed.
<clears throat> so the oil cooled a lot of carbon All right. We're getting ready. Tomorrow, we should be going in to get this taken off, get this loaded in the car, and head over to Nina. So here's our wrist pin. The ends are just war because it it so this is steel and this is aluminum on both ends, the aluminum plugs, and so it rides back and forth. There's no cotter, there's no. Um, C clips. There's no clips in here to hold this in. It just rides against the side of the cylinder wall, floats back and forth, both between the piston and the connecting rod. You can see it's, it's been going back and forth here in the piston. So it's been frozen on the connecting rod and wearing the piston. So, all right. And on here we got a little bit aluminum damage to start because it's out of wax, so to speak.
Well, that's that's about it. Can't really see too much down in there. Oh man, I see a lot better now. It's just not focused. There you go. I am learning this camera. And this one feels, this connecting rod feels pretty good. See, that, that's normal. This is the only normal connecting rod I've found in the, in the group that wasn't sloppy. And actually this cylinder was bolted on pretty good, proper torque. This was the only one, that, except for one. One was, was completely loose. So none of them, none of the cylinders were properly torqued period at all not even close to proper torques i mean just that alone can cause uh, uneven cylinder issues the way metal heats up heats and contracts and it's all different torques not even remotely close to one another can really deform and distort metal. Tawny, I mean, I would expect a little better maintenance out of out of this. But so at fit, so for the rules here, fourteen hundred TBO for this engine isn't out of hand. This engine after this is its second rebuild, maybe more. But it's at least its second rebuild, and it's the end of the second rebuild, and she's she's done. All right, drive out that lap piston. Let's see how she goes. Sockham robot. It's the last piston, I believe, right? Yep. <clears throat> so here goes the last piston. Spinning, 
stuck, it was froze in the connecting rod and been spinning in the piston. Bushing is shot, as the man says. Well, I always wanted to get into the A and P. This is the more P than the in the A. <laughs> All right, so that's number three. Number three is that because number one's back. Shot. All right. So again, top of the piston really carboned up. Down in here from the heat of the blast in the fire chamber, the rings trying to hold it off, and heat is obviously getting passed. And, and going in here into this oil ring and then the heat is injecting in here and burning the oil at because this is the oil is being pushed in here to help lubricate this in turn it's cooked it and when you get done cooking it and you get these holes plugged up because it's all baked and plugged it's, it's corroded you know or carboned up then no oils, you you lose oil in your oil ring and your oil to, to lubricate. Hmm. Nothing like new equipment, I tell you that. <laughs> All right. Putting the piston in a Ziploc bag. There's no sense keeping cylinders. Well, I should. They are. It is important to keep it with these cylinders. So this is piston number three. Let's make it stick it. So uh, come over here and. So I come over here <clears throat> and make a sticker for that piston and that's piston number three. So I already have, I just made it for the fourth piston. So I just back up, delete numbers three. So three piston, hit print. Pretty slick. And voila, and then I bag and tag the piston. And I've, I've marked it. No, I haven't marked the piston. I don't want to mar the pistons. That's what I'm, so I'm trying to keep it, the markings limited to the bag.
Cylinder. I need to make one. I need to make one for number five. Delete. Five. Print. That's just slow drama. Bag and tag and got uh, Got to put a toe tag on everything on this one. <clears throat> yeah, this one's going to the morgue. This ain't. This one isn't even right now. This thing you wouldn't. I wouldn't put it on a on an airboat. I'm afraid it'd blow up. Might have some new artwork for the shop. Yeah. So come on in here. Not as bad as these the ones back here. The one the ones back here on number one were really bad. This here is just out of service limits, I think. I don't know. I, I'm gonna find out if that that might be completely gone. But like I said, this is the best connecting rod. I mean, this one shot. Well, if anything, she's going to go to third shop, get tore apart, further inspection. Who knows? I could end up moving to Mina. Pay a tie-down fee for this and just leave it. Go build an engine and come back. I don't know. I mean, the rest of the plane, I mean, we got maintenance. We do have more service mate that was neglected maintenance. Um, but not too bad. I mean, mechanically, pretty happy with the rest of the airplane again. Like, like I said, I'm, the rest of the plane, we just need, it's a 1964 and I take care of it. But this, this is a, a somber retreat of a, of a comrade that <laughs> served its country well. Wow. All right, time to clean up and go home. Come over tomorrow and, well, finish putting the, the, Sealing her up. Just got to move the propeller governor cable. That's got to come off, but Al hasn't Al hasn't said take it off, so I can take that off tomorrow morning or whatever. But it has it needs to come off or it'll get damaged. And this Al said just cut this because he's these all the he goes all he's looking at the wiring. He's a wiring guy. He's an electrical he's an electrical guy. And he looked at all the wiring and they're all oil soaked hard and crispy and oily and nasty 
So do a stagger cut between these two so we can splice one and then splice over here, not have them on top of each other. And then we can seal them back up and then run, run a new wire all the way down up and then back in behind the bulkhead. We'll have all new wiring in here. But not going to work on that until I know I've got a, at least a short block to come back to. I'm not putting any... I'm at an all stop of buying parts for this aircraft until we have a short block. So no labor, no parts. I mean, I, I might come down and, and do work that I can do. But I'm gonna have to break the piggy, the piggy bank open to get this back up on it. Uh, you guys have